product review on a tarragon atv wash what we got is we got four different products here uh, we actually got the chronic cleanse uh, we got what they call the black butter right which is a plastic trim restorer uh, we have the mud slide as well which is like a ceramic coating to help shield off any type of mud anything like that and then we have a like a water spot remover or whatnot. Now this is basically going to be like an optional product. You might not see us use it in this particular product review, but it's definitely uh, a necessity to actually have. So we're going to start off uh, with the chronic cleanse, which is the soap, right? We're going to put the soap inside the uh, the bottle. So you can use it uh, in a bucket, but you can also use it uh, in the actual foam cannon as well. So this is what we're going to do. Today in our product review, we're going to actually use it in the actual foam cannon. So we're gonna go uh, do this real quick and come back to you guys. So, got two Renegades here, man. Uh, had one on the ride this weekend. So of course, it's a great product review to actually use it. Uh, Cause we got two of the Renegades here. We got one, we got two different colors. We got one yellow, one white. So you get a chance to see it on both colors, right? So this is what we do, right? So first we're gonna do like a pre-rinse type deal. Try to get all the excess mud off as much as possible. Uh, and then we're gonna actually do, use the foam cannon and the other products. But right now we gotta, first of all, get some of this uh, excess mud off the bikes, man. And then we'll come back to you guys and show you guys how the product actually works on both of these bikes. cleanse inside of the foam cannon like i said we're going to use a foam cannon today and uh we're going to actually spray it on here and then we're going to rinse it off and show you guys an honest review of what it actually looks like once we actually wash it down uh when we come back we actually going to rub it in too so you can actually use like a cloth uh somewhat like a wash mitt or some type of other cloth i wouldn't use nothing that you know would scratch or anything like that but this is a, a perfect uh combination uh, for that as well. So, like I said, we use the foam cannon, man. We're gonna try it out. We'll see. We'll be right back. cleaned up pretty good didn't do too bad of a job there so now uh the next step is to use uh the black butter which is a trim restore it actually puts a little bit more shine on it and then we're going to use uh the actual shield right so this is going to actually pour it on the actual tile you kind of just wipe it in right so all it is is kind of applicant you pour it in here like this right not too much dampen up a little bit and you kind of make circular motions with it Kind of do a comparison with this side to that side. We haven't done that side. Just an honest review, so. Hey, it actually turned out pretty good, right? So, actually got a little sleek, sleekness to it. Now we're going to do the other bike. That's the tell all the be all right here, right? So get a close up of that. See how it is, right? So now we're gonna see how we do the same thing. You don't have to put a whole lot. Just put enough in there, kind of dampen your rag. And I like to kind of do that, so kind of add into it a little bit. So we're gonna see. Here we go.
Oh man. Give it a little bling bling now. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Alright, we'll put a little bit on this side. Black butter. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Give it some bling right to you guys. Honestly, what it looks like, um, the black is gonna show up a lot better than the other colors. Uh, it does highlight the other colors because this is a yellow bite. And this is actually an older bite too. So this is a kind of like worn out kind of plastic type thing where it's actually been in the weather a little bit more than this one has. So this one has brand new plastics on it. This one has more uh, older plastics. So we got like a comparison of the two. So it's a good, honest comparison of what both of them actually do. So this one actually, as y'all can see, we got the before picture, right? So this is before the plastic or whatnot. Like I said, it actually works pretty good on the black. So we got the before uh, look right here. So we're gonna put a little bit more on here. So I add a little bit here. Like I said earlier, kind of dab a little bit. Here we go. Wow. Dang, sounded like new money. So if you actually compare this to actually this right here, because this one hasn't has not been applied to that. It's a really good um, application, man. And honestly, it's not real oily, so it's not don't have that like oily type feel to it either. So that's actually a plus to it as well. So when you actually apply it, it actually has a real, real soft finish to it, and it's not really oily like that. But that actually brings it back to its natural color. So even with this right here in the grill, you know. You apply it, man. It does that black very well. So, um, yeah, so this will actually pass the test, man. Very, very great on, on black. Uh, I can see why, you know, other colors might be a little different, but that black, it really, it really tells the tale. Matter of fact, get this right here. Kind of get that side to that side. Wow, that's an honest comparison of the two, man. Right there. Good application, uh, good trim restore on, on both bikes. So now we're gonna try uh, the next product, um, which is the ceramic shield, right? Now this is a spray on product, of course. Now, guys, they actually come with spray nozzles too in the actual uh, box as well. So, but this is actually to protect it, right? So once you put the black butter on, this is actually protected from, you know, actually curing on the, the mud, curing on the plastic. So we're gonna actually do that too. So um, we're gonna get another rag and then we'll come back. You ready? We back on the uh, the spray on the ceramic shield. Like I said, this is uh, to keep it from curing, right? So now I'm just gonna kind of basically what you want to do. You can do it either way, so it really don't matter. But you can spray it on and wipe it off. Just don't let it sit. That's the main thing. Don't don't have it sitting on there. But you spray it on your rag, then kind of wipe it in, or kind of spray it and wipe it in as well. So kind of see which one actually works. We can actually do both. It actually goes on pretty even, what I like about it. Um, it's not real messy, you know what I mean? So that's a good thing when you actually spray on your bike. So, um, so you go over the top of what you just put on with the butter or whatnot. It's just gonna keep it from the mud to keep it from curing on like we had earlier. So you can almost rinse it off uh, type thing or whatever case might be. So even if we do this, like I said, we put it in the rag as well and kind of wipe it. That's uh, that's like a plus to it as well. Now we're gonna go to the the newer plastic, right? And do the same thing. So, but as you can see, the test is gonna tell on the older plastic, but it doesn't wipe away the shine. That's a good thing. It actually keeps keeps the shine. So you really won't tell the results on actually what it actually does until we ride again. And then you'll see where the mud actually repels off of it or whatnot. So we might do a post review. We might do a good post review after to see how the mud actually kind of comes off as well. But it still, you know, keeps the shine. Doesn't harm the plastic. It's not harmful to the plastic or anything like that. But it's actually uh, 
pretty good. So, um, you know, what we have seen so far, hey, we get a pretty good rate, man. I really like uh, the easy use of it all. Um, I really like the fact it didn't use as much, uh, especially on the soap products. I have used other soap products that use the whole cannon uh, just on one bike. So uh, actually did pretty good. And then uh, we actually have the spray on that we're gonna use as well. But it's actually for like rain spots or whatnot. We don't have any really right now to actually put on here. But actually, it's a good product to use as well. But like I said, it's an honest review, man. We actually got the, got all three. All right, we got the, we got the soap. You got the, what they call black butter, which you can't use on the others. And like I said, you had a the sheeter, man. So it's a nice little, uh, nice little kit. So we have everything uh, posted as well in the, uh, in the description on how to actually purchase this. So other than that, man, great product review, man. Great job, uh, Terragon, on actually getting a uh, ATV wash, man. So appreciate you. All right, guys, so uh, you see we cleaned both of the bikes. I uh, got them down. You see we used all three products. We used the cleanser, we used the butter, and we used the mudslide. I told you guys this was actually an optional thing. It's called fire water, but it's like a hard water spot remover. Uh, on my bike, sometimes I get like some water spots on mine. Uh, as well so sometimes you kind of hit it or whatnot and you just do the same thing you spray it on here and kind of just uh kind of wipe it off like that so uh we'll put a little bit on here we're well, I mean, hard hard water spots but you know it actually goes on good though as you can see not bad not bad at all and then mine actually has some plates in the actual um, finish, so it actually turned out pretty good there. All right, so man, great job, Terragon. Hey, uh, we actually got all four products done, man, so great, great job. And as they say, hey, it's time to shine.